Hello everyone. This is the pre-market report video for today, May 19th in the Nifty stock market in terms of Nifty and Bank Nifty. Yesterday for most of the time Nifty traded positive, but one by one sector by sector turns and dragged the Nifty down. I mean, initially from the morning itself, there was a huge pressure on auto and pharma sector, which is kind of limited the Nifty positivity movement. Then first ITC released the results. Their profit beats the estimation as it increased over 21% to over 5000 crore rupees where the market expected the increase of just 15%. But the problem is year to date ITC share price increased over 25%. In contrast Nifty was just flat. Similarly by anticipating the good results in April May alone the stock price increased over 13%. So the result announcement created the profit booking and made the stock to drop over 2% and thus Nifty FMCG started to pull the Nifty down still this doesn't break Nifty but SPA results did break it i mean similar to ITC by anticipating the good results SPI also increased over 12 to 13% in the April May alone so they released their quarterly results around 1:30 pm and they too posted a very good results I mean analyst expected only increase of just 65 to 68% in profit year on year basis whereas SPI's profit increased by 83% to over 16600 crore rupees for the quarter their net interest income increased by 29% and their net NPA is just 0.67% This is phenomenal results but due to the recent stock price run up it created the profit booking and finally drags the nifty into the negative territory so except private bank all other sectoral index ended in the red with realty oil and gas psu bank power pharma fmcg and capital goods all down by 1 to 2% each and unlike tuesday and wednesday even yesterday the overall market was not good the advance chicken ratio was 2 is to 3 which means for every two stocks advance three stocks declined however for the 16th consecutive session fais were net buyers then bought shares with approximately 970 crore rupees where da net sold shares with approximately 850 crore rupees So that's Indian market yesterday which is not good since it is the only major economy index that closed negative all others including China closed positive anyway moving to US for the second consecutive day this debt ceiling optimism provided the much needed positive momentum i mean again both congress leader and senate republican leader reiterated their aim and they are confident that they will reach the agreement and they are going to have the congress voting on the next week This is the first positive info. Then the second info, Walmart released their better sales guidance. I mean they said that their quarter sales increased by 8%. Thus the whole retail sectors in US becomes positive. In terms of macro economy, weekly number of new jobless claims comes as 242,000 which were lower than the expectation and lower than the previous week. Another sign of tight labor market. which is also good since one of the recent worries that investors got in the previous week this number keeps on increasing anyway this week that's not the case and another one but this is more negative not in favor of since the existing home sales fell 3.4% in april from the prior month which were well more than expected At the end of the day last night Dow Jones up by 0.34% S&P 500 increased by 0.94% and Nasdaq rallied 1.51%. VIX decreased another 5% and moved near 16. In terms of tech stocks almost all of them closed positive especially Netflix its shares increased over 9% as their ad supported subscription increased to near 5 million monthly users. Then regarding oil I don't know how why and what's the relation dollar strengthens against the basket of currency and thus oil price dropped 1% regarding number last night brent crude oil trading near to 76 us dollars per barrel and wti crude oil trading near to 72 us dollars per barrel and coming to indian areas again for the second straight day despite us market was very positive that enthusiasm was not seen in indian stocks if required please pause it Both the IT ideas dropped around 0.3%. However, banks were mixed as ICICI Bank closed positive. 
About Asia's Nifty, at present 3 a.m. Indian Standard Time, it closed near 18,220 mark and at present the premium is 30 to 40 points for the spot market. And it might start to drop further from today onwards since we are only one week away from the monthly expiry. Anyway, which is roughly indicating 50 to 70 points gap up opening today. So that's what happened in the global market. Now let's move to the India related info. First, I like to highlight the info about Reliance that last night Bloomberg released the report that Shane and Reliance Retail going to have a partnership and they are going to operate via Reliance Retail e-commerce website. Here, this news may not be important today, but the time this deal materialized means Reliance might be able to compete against Amazon at least in certain sector. Thus, this will increase the Reliance Retail valuation. Even last night in the GDR, despite closing negative in Indian market, it closed 0.7% positive there. Then the second info I like to highlight is that Federation of Automobile Dealers Association said that they approached the GST council and urged them immediately to reduce the GST rate on two wheelers from the current 28% to 18%. Again, this is not yet happened, but the day government accepting this proposal will make all the two-wheeler stocks to become crazy positive. But for now, just remember the info and keep watch the space if you got any of the two-wheeler stock wins. In terms of quarterly results, Indigo reported a record profit of near 920 crore rupees in the March quarter on the back of robust demand for air travel during the period. However, its profit missed the analyst estimation as rising fuel cost offset. As a summary, exactly like yesterday, global momentum is good as all three US market major index closed positive for the second consecutive day and SGSFD is indicating the gap up opening. So, will it sustain today? Let's see. Then about the things to look out. NDPC, Power Grid Corporation of India, Punjab National Bank, JSW Steel and Zomato are some of the major Indian companies' earnings results are scheduled to release today. And in terms of macro, during the market has around 1.30 pm, Germany's PPA data, I mean wholesale inflation is due. Finally, in the aftermarket has in the evening, India's bi-weekly bank's deposit and credit growth. And in the night in US, there is a schedule for Fed Chairman interview is due. Coming to technical, by combining the last three days, Nifty forms the three black crow candlestick pattern at another trend reversal pattern. I mean, in all three days, buyers starts the session with the price opening modestly higher than the previous close, but the price is pushed lower throughout the session. In the end, the price will close near the session low under pressure from the sellers. So basically, Nifty consistently had been making lower tops, lower bottoms for the third straight session which is not good and also indicating nervousness among participants. Now, 18,000 to 18,100 is the crucial levels. Since I said yesterday, it coincided with various support stages such as 20 days improving average and Fibonacci retracement, etc. Going ahead, 18,300 to 18,350 looks like a stiff resistance. If Nifty breaks 80,050, then it might push down further to near 17,800. Then, compared to yesterday, there is no change in moving average summary. However, in case of technical indicator, couple of indicators such as ultimate oscillators and high lows turned as sell signal. Thus, the summary downgraded from strong buy to just buy signal. In case of Bank Nifty, it's similar, large red candle with short upper and lower shadow. At present, it's still trading above daily exponential moving average. So if it drops below, then we might see some more further downside. Moving on, from pivot chart for Nifty, at present, the support is present at around 18,060 and strong support is at 17,895. On the higher side, the immediate resistance to break is at 18,300. Then, in terms of Bank Nifty, the support is present at around 43,430, whereas the resistance is at 44,090. So that's all in this video. Hope you all got some useful information. Please consider subscribing the channel and liking the video so it will help me beat the algorithm and will also motivate me to do more. Please don't make any investment decision based on this as I'm not a SEBI registered advisor. I'm doing it for my and viewers educational purpose only. Thanks for watching.